Bible says that we know in part. Most of the things in the Bible, we know in part. We never understand how God works. We may never understand the mind of God. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, where our foolishness starts, or end, where our clever start, as heaven is far from the earth. Sorry, say, as heaven is far away from the earth. So it's our mind with God. Our, we cannot understand the mind of God unless we need spirit. And even when we need spirit, the Bible says that we know in part, even the prophecies. Daniel at some point said, God, can you tell me a meaning of this? In the chapter, uh, Daniel chapter 12, and he said, this is sealed for the last time. You just close the prophecy, it is sealed to the time. Uh, it's timeliness of the time, it will be revealed. And the Bible says in Daniel chapter 12 and verse and chapter 11, those who know their God shall understand the sealed prophecy of Daniel. Those who are wise shall understand and shall instruct many and shall direct many to the right way. Because the Bible says in the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 that God will not come until there is a rebellion in the people of God. There is a far away. People will fall away from the truth and follow their own ways and follow uh, doctrines of demon and deceiving spirit. First Timothy chapter 4 and 2, Timothy, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Jesus will not come until the church moves of the percentage of the church, church, most of the percentage or bracket of the church move away from the truth of the word of God and follow the last day movement, mob psychology of the satanic church of forcing people to and drifting people from the truth of the word of God. There will be many false prophets according to the book of Peter. They will come in the name of Christ, but they will be wolves wearing sheep's clothes. So the Bible says, we know in part. So our secret is to not know much or keep searching like you're a researcher about the word of God, doing a lot of theology. But the most important thing, our secret is prayer. Our secret is prayer. Prayer is the victory of the children of God. So when we pray and apply the sword of the spirit, Pray in spirit and apply the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, which is Satan's fear. You speak word to Satan. Resist Satan and you're going to free. Resist him by the word of God. Jesus told the devil, it is written, it is written and, it is and defeated. So it is the prayer, the secret and walking under the spirit of God. Praising God in spirit and truth and prayer. Our secret is feeding the spiritual man rather than too much uh, worrying about the coming of Christ. Uh, we know in part, but the Spirit of God will reveal us many deep things, secret of God. But we know in part, so our secret is prayer. So here is song, our Kikuyu song, we know in part.
トレイマオヤ。運命にゃがないしゅうけ。運命にゃがないしゅうけ。運命にゃがないしゅうけ。ビートネイマオヤ。運命にゃがないしゅうけ。運命にゃがないしゅうけ。「あてこまにありきえろうだ」「あどきゃみすぎやあゆぶ」「あゆぶえでらいれこほや」「あゆぶえでらいれこほや」「ながやきむしょけりゃ」「いどしょでごまどけてえ」グリートネーマホーヤーグリートネーマホーヤーグリートネーマホーヤーグリートネーマホーヤーマホーヤにもいにゃわしゃなしゃがいマホーヤにもいにゃわしゃなマホーヤにもいにゃわしゃなじゃなしゃけがいうめにゃがないしゅうてうめにゃがないしゅうてうめにゃがないしゅうてうめにゃがないしゅうてうめにゃがないしゅうてあ<音楽>
against you, pray. People falsely accuse you, pray. People torment you, pray. People used by the enemy to lack and destroy your foundation, pray. People give you fake name, pray. People conspire against you like Daniel, pray. People put in you in spiritual prison, pray. Of debt, spiritual prison of debt, of hardship, pray. You see the prophecy in unfolding of the last days. Pray. Jesus told his disciple, pray. You don't enter to temptation. And Mount Oriv in Matthew, I think, 26, chapter 26 or 12, chapter 27, when Jesus was about in his last hour of his trial and trials and crucifixion and saving of mankind and resurrection, Jesus was praying Mount Olive wearing white garment and he told his disciple, why are you sleeping, my dear disciple and my dear confidant? Why are you sleep? Pray you don't enter to temptation. Jesus prayed before he was tried and he defeated the enemy 9-0. That's why I'm preaching here and telling you Jesus loves you because Jesus defeated the enemy. Do not let the enemy look down on you or anyone because Jesus has took the key. The key of David is with Jesus. He took the key of death and hate. The devil has nothing. His work is to lie, to use lie, to deceive, 
uh, he come to steal, to kill and destroy you. It doesn't matter whether he come in enticing, frate way, enticing, seducing way. He come in rich way. He come in in tribulation way, hardship way. He bring meat pie, chocolate to you. He bring good things, good tidings. His mission is is always three: steal you, kill you, and destroy you. So pray. Jesus prayed in 40 days and defeated the enemy and told him, it is written, it is written, it is written. All the other are seeking that. All the others are the work of men. We know the language of prayer. Christian language is prayer. Our culture is prayer. And when everything and dissecting everything, using the word of God that cut is like a double-edged sword. The word of God is like a double-edged truth, passing even the division of soul and marrow. So we use the word of God to weigh everything in the light of the word of God. It is the light, is the lamp to our feet and the light to our path. So we pray and apply the word of God. We pray and speak the word of God to the devil, to the power of evil, and speak blessing to our life, speak blessing to our family, redeem our family, redeem our inheritance. The Bible says in Psalms 125 verse 3, the ruling of the work of darkness, the ruling of Satan, will not be able to rule the allotted land of the lashes, so that the lashes can use their hands to do evil. Psalms 125 verse 3. The luring of Satan, the luring of the workers of iniquity, will not rule over the land allotted to the lashes, so that they can use their hand to do evil. So we pray and speak the word of God and tell the devil, the luring of your work and the workers of your iniquity and your crew of false prophets, antichrist, and all deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons will not rule over our inheritance so that we can use our hand to do evil. It doesn't matter what happened. Job did not care what is happening, but he said, Jesus, you're awesome. You are holy. You are mighty. And he hit, he crushed the serpent on the head. And he was given back his position one by one. You are awesome in this Christ, mighty God. You are worthy of all praise. To you I believe you are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in my life, Abba Father. You are the over price, and to you my life I bring. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. Be blessed.